Okay, good day guys and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. I have missed you so much and hope you've missed me too. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about uh, ways, things to do in order to have a very beautiful flight experience. When I mean flight experience, I mean before you go to fly with your instructor or even for yourself, your personal solo or anything. These are things you have to do so that you can have a very relaxing and good flight. So stay tuned guys, I'll be right back. Before we go into this topic, I just want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, this is Princess Anu TV and we talk about aviation, motivational adventure. And if you've not subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss anything on so this channel. The number one thing to do so that you can have a very good flight experience, a relaxing flight experience, is to prepare from home. You can never under underestimate the power of preparation. Don't forget, they say poor preparation leads to very, very poor performance. So if you prepare from home, you pack your bags properly, you keep everything you need for the flight in your bag even before you leave, you will not need to start looking for your checklist, looking for this, looking for that. That will not be necessary. So prepare very well from home for your flight. Packing your bag, simulating will really help. The number two thing is to make sure you do your pre-flight very well. Even if other people help you to do your pre-flight or maybe other people have to assist you to do your pre-flight, make sure you check and double check. Don't leave anything on assumption. Don't leave anything and say, oh, I thought they did this. Oh, I thought they checked the foil for. Oh, I thought they did. Mm -mm. There's no point for assumptions. Just make sure you do your pre-flight very, very and well. And that thing I've noticed that makes some of us, especially me, it happens to me most of the time, to have bad flight experiences is because anytime i rush to the aircraft i just got to notice it like whenever i try to rush to the aircraft maybe whoa ah this one is there this one i'm rushing to the aircraft i end up having a not so good flight experience so i think i want to advise you anytime you want to go and fly there's no point rushing to the aircraft that's why you have to prepare come on time do your pre-flight take everything you need into your bag don't forget your head your checklist here yeah. forget your headset here yeah. forget your that will make the whole flight scattered even from ground. You discover that you start forgetting things, you start forgetting to call. Imagine when you forget to call the controller, he will tell you to shut down the aircraft and call him for start. It has happened to me before. So don't rush to the aircraft. Just make sure you take your time. Go to the aircraft and, you know, be calm. Just be calm. That's what you need to have. Part of things you need to have. Another thing that experience. cannot be overemphasized is listening out. Most of us, especially student pilots, whenever we are flying, we feel to listen out. You just maybe change the frequency and you quickly do. Most of us make a mistake, have made a mistake before, and that's why I'm saying it. Like, you just click and you just start talking to me while someone else is on the radio. Always listening out. Listening out to who, you know, they, they, there's what they call uh, good radio communication skills and rest. Like, when you tune to a particular frequency, you wait for some minutes, you know, to know what's going on before you you know start talking or before you depress the communication buttons so you have to listen up right? so your instructor doesn't, doesn't start shouting and be like can't you see someone is talking on the radio or the to say watch out or listen out mm -mm -mm. you don't want all those things on your flight so make sure you listen out properly oh. while if you are flying another thing i want to tell you especially when you're having a check ride a pc or any of this that has to do with you moving to the next level i need you to always be positive about it yes you may make some mistakes like i've done before you know but you need to be positive about the flight from the beginning to the end yes you're making the mistakes correct do again you're making mistakes correct just be positive about the flight until you touch down till you pack the aircraft the flight is not over that's one thing you should know till you pack that aircraft don't assume oh you've done the best thing in the air and the moment you touch down wow you're happy you start taxiing anyhow or you pack the aircraft anyhow or you just start doing some funny things the flight is not over till you pack the aircraft successfully so be positive about the flight from the beginning to the end and trust me if you keep to these five things you will have one of the best flight experiences ever you can try it even in your next flight Bye guys, till we meet again even on this same channel, this is Princess Anna TV. Keep watching!